Okay, in this tutorial we're going to begin putting together some buttons. Um, and it's basically a way to look like graphic buttons or kind of look like graphic buttons, but we're going to do it just with CSS. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start here with a basic framework, a basic skeleton of an X, of an X, XHTML page. And you'll see that we have HTML and end HTML, begin head and end head with a title in between begin body and end body with some sample text in there. And if I save this and open it, it's going to open up here and it should just say sample text and have like a basic title up here. All right, and it does. It says my page, sample text. And if I look on here, I'll see my page and sample text. All right, so what we want to do is, the first thing we want to do is set up our style sheet. So in order to put in a style sheet, we need a link to our style sheet, and the link will go inside our head. Okay, so we're going to put in link, and then what it is here is a style sheet. Whoops. And href equals, and I will put in mypage.css. You can call yours whatever you'd like, and the type is a text slash CSS. All right, and then. I'm going to end that tag. And so now, if I was to try to run this, it's basically going to try to look for that style sheet, which does not exist yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create this by clicking text document. I'm going to call it mypage.css. And I'm going to open this with Notepad. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and start to put in my um, my styles. Okay, the first style I want is body, and I'm going to hit tab and put in my open. And then I'm going to set my margin for zero and auto. And I'm going to set my width to 550 pixels. And I'm going to set my text align to center and I'm going to close this. Now if I just left it like this and saved it and went back to my page and refreshed, you'll see that my text is centered and that's because of the text align equals center here. Alright, so I'm going to go down now and add my next one and I'm going to set up a code for buttons. Border, uh, two pixels, inset, and then my color scheme could be anything. I'm just going to put six C's which is kind of a, a greenish color. Um, and then padding, 3 pixels, and then 15 pixels. And let's see, width, 100 pixels. Keep them relatively small. Color, and let's just, let's set the color for the text as white. Alright, and that's all Fs. Background, color equals, let's see here, let's do a, whoops, zero, zero, six, six, zero, zero, and now that's, whoops, that's a five, that's a bright green, that's no red, all green, and no blue, R, G, B. We want it to be the font, family, um, Arial, Helvetica, if that's not available, and then Sans Serif, if that's not available, and font size 16 pixels, and we want font weight bold, and we want to have the text align center, whoops, semicolon, and the text decoration. None. Alright, and we will close our tag now. So now if I save this and go back and refresh, nothing else has changed because we haven't put in any buttons yet. So what I can do is go in here, back to my page text, and I can add in some buttons. First, I will, I'm going to go ahead and put this inside the body here, instead of the sample text, and I'll put it inside a div whoops, align equals center, 
and then I'm going to go down and end my div just so I don't forget to do that later. And inside here, I'm going to put a, a header, um, sample CSS buttons, or whatever you want to put, and then in my header. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in my anchor tags here. I'm just going to tab over or space over a little bit so that I keep them separate. And I'm going to put anchor href equals, and then say index.htm, for example, and this is what it was is going to link to. And then my class is going to equal button. And the reason it's going to equal button is because over here, the class that we set up here is a button. All right. And after that, I'm going to say my text can be home. And then I'm going to end my anchor. Now, if I save this and go back over here and refresh, I now have a button. Now, it doesn't do any special features like you know ho uh, mouse over any hover effects but you can see that it looks like a button and if I go back into my text here I can let me add a couple more just so we can make this look a little better back in another href gallery.htm class equals button gallery and then end our anchor and then maybe contact class equals button contact and if I save this go back over and refresh you see that I've got this um, a few characters in between here a few pixels and I've got three buttons set up now what I can do here is go in and I want to add some other effects in my CSS code that maybe does some extra function. So for example, I can put a button link color. Let me do pound then all white. And let me close my tag here. A button visited. All right. And I'm going to do color and then hover hover is when you actually are mousing over it. Color um, 66CC33. So again, that's some red, a lot more green, and then a little bit of blue. And border, two pixels, have an outset border, and then maybe the color 00FF00, which that means no red, a lot of green, and no blue. So that means the border, when you hover over it, is going to get a bright green. And let's remember to close our tag. Whoops, and I just looked up here and I didn't remember to close this tag. All right, so make sure you s check those. And I'm going to do save and I'm going to refresh. And it doesn't look like anything's different, but you'll see as I mouse over them that the colors do change. And if you look back over here, that's because we have the link buttons, the visited button colors, and if I was to actually click one of these, it doesn't go anywhere, but if I go back, I can have my visited color be a different color. I can also, if I set this for a lot of red and no green, and again, this is the hover color, and refresh, it'll do that. All right, so that's an easy way to add buttons to your page without having to take up the bandwidth of making graphics for everything. The other thing that's nice about this is I can change colors. Um, I can do, you know, if I was to add maybe more blue down here and go back and refresh, I can change my colors for my whole page. And you don't have to remake every button if you decide to change your color scheme. So I hope that helps you. And um, if you have any questions, you know, let me know. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.